What is up as a figure hunter? And this is the short form review of Whoop's new strength training feature that has come out just in the last week. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. So I did, and I will be releasing alongside this an extensive in-depth review of Whoop's strength training feature as looking at it in all different sections, as well as comparing it in depth to Coros' strength training and Garmin strength training. But in looking back over that video before I released it, I also wanted to do a boil down simplification of what was good and what was not so good or what it's not to be used as really for Whoop's new strength training. So I want to simplify it in that simple category rather than look at it. So if you want to watch the extensive version, that video is coming out right alongside this. So boil down on the good side. It really is effective or it's useful for one primary benefit, and that is getting a higher strain score for a lifting session that is not as cardiovascularly demanding. Sure, your heart rate could be up, but you're going to get your strain score because of how WHOOP is assessing strain based on the types of lifts you are doing. So it was good in that category if you are doing a more extensive multi-lift, multi, you know, not necessarily multi-body part, but just lots of different lifts, even if focused on the same body part for multiple sets. You're going to get a much higher strain score than you ever would have gotten before if you just sort of hit a start button for a strength workout and then ended it when it was over and it's only looking at your heart rate but that is the singular and really only feature benefit to the new strength training that whoop is offering so what it is not for it is not for crossfit or high intensity interval type workouts it's not for when you're blending lifting strength work coupled with cardio or speed or transition from one lift to another it does not do that at all it is not for that purpose it is really for those that are doing singular lifts followed by a rest a singular lift followed by a rest and then moving on to the next type of lift followed by a rest followed by a rest so it's also it's not for building complexity in workouts it's not for mixing a bunch of different things together that's going to have a fast pace to it is really just for you know exactly like what i just said just do a singular type work you know, lift rest lift rest simplicity so it's not for complexity at all it's also not for getting any information as far as the accelerometer data or any movement data so it's not providing any value or insight when it comes to how fast you're pulling the bar off the floor for a squat clean or a deadlift or how fast you're moving a dumbbell on a single arm dumbbell snatch it's not looking at it does at least does not provide you any information for whether you're slowing down in your lift you're not pulling as hard off the floor it doesn't do any dynamics movement dynamics for the lift itself none of that is visible none of that's displayed none of that's available and it's also not for short single lift workouts so like in crossfit i would i used it on a couple of days to just in a crossfit class you have 20 minutes of just one lift and you're going to do that one lift in depth but you're just going to do that one lift maybe across six or seven or five sets it's not as purposeful for that. It doesn't provide as high a strain score. It's really only if you're putting in 45 minutes to an hour of just focused lifting work that it really would apply to a more applicable strain score that would change your, your overall strain for the week. And then the last thing it's not for, it's not for tracking any history. It's not for looking at any body part development, like you hit your legs you know, this many times, or you did this many, your movements from this week hit this range of your body or even in that one workout what you effectively wore down what muscle groups you tore down in that workout it doesn't provide any real summary of data when it comes to that type of thing when it comes to like a body heat map so again just to summarize and whoops dynamic in this sort of short form review it is really good for giving you high strain credit for lifting work put in and it's not really used for anything else, not for the analysis, not for building funny, cute, sexy workouts, like lots of complexity, not for looking at any dynamics of barbell movement, not for sim simple lifts. So 
that's just what it's not. And that is what it's for. It's really just for those that just are doing lifting separate from their cardio workouts on a different time or different day. So with that, that is the simple short review for Whoop's new strength training feature. It's the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.